Hey, what's going on, y'all? This is Ken, and I'm in my garage. And what you see here in front of you at the moment is my main tackle storage area. For all intents and purposes, it's my tackle box. I have another one over there, a tackle closet, and uh, I'm not going to show you my whole garage right now because it's a pretty big mess. But uh, I'm going to do a little segment. Actually, I'm going to do two segments. Um, I'm, I'm going to do a segment on my plugs. The plugs that I like to throw for bass. Right? So I got my SP minnows, and those are my favorites. And um, I've got pretty wide assortment of stuff no question about it you know diamond jigs and soft plastics and all the things I like to throw um, and then I have uh, everything else organized down here so this is like pretty much my fluke drawer and everything for fluke is right in here so these are all my beads for tying different rigs. And I got, you know, like every kind of color bead in there. Glow stuff. This is a big selection of hooks and terminal gear, you know, terminal tackle, different swivels, three ways, thunder mists, uh, regular barrel swivels, fish finders, all kinds of stuff. And, um,. Just did my segment on fluke spoons, so I got fluke spoons there, I got fluke spoons there. Here's a box of my favorite backwater baits in assorted colors. And those are all jigs that, almost all jigs that I've used, except for the ones in the packages. But these are all jigs I've used and can still reuse. I got this really cool box. It's Gamagatsu box from Fisherman Depot. And uh, it enables you to keep a bunch of jigs in there. And, uh, you know, it's, it's good dry storage for me. Of course, before you put a jig back in the box, you have to clean the salt off it, right? I think that's pretty much elementary. We all know that. So, uh... We got big fluke jig heads here and a bunch of used bucktails here. Unused spros, unused spros, more fluke spoons, backwater baits, mostly unused, a couple of used ones in there, but mostly unused. And um, over here, well, let me show you actually. So here we got, we got, uh, you know, still in the wrappers, a lot of them, and a lot of poison tails that I'll retie into other rigs and stuff, right? Keep it all pretty much separate. I like to try to get all the skirts in the box, not hanging out, right? So, um... Spros. I'm not a you know as big of a spro guy as I used to be, but I still have a pretty good collection from you know I, I collected these over the years. They used to be on sale, so I buy them up and I, I you know they still catch fish. I mean I believe in them, I use them, but uh, I'm all about the backwater baits, man. I just love them. Just, you know, you got to fish with what you're happy with fishing, what what you have good confidence in. So these are teasers, right? And I got all my, that's a little bucktail, but, you know, all the different teasers with hooks in them. I got a lot of uh, geezers teasers here. Ties beauties, man. Beautiful. You know, and I've got these new types for the... Uh, for the gulps with the long shank so uh yeah 
I've got them color coordinated. You know, we got the pinks, the greens, all kinds of beauties. And, uh, you know, a couple other things that I collected over time. But, um, yeah, so that's that stuff. And... Plastic, so yeah, we've got the new uh, Jigging World uh, ball jig heads, and you know some some uh, some of these skirts and that, right? Yeah. So I'm trying to get organized. I've been working on all this stuff and trying to get myself ready for the season can find everything oh yeah here's another this is a big one all right so this is all full of the uh all types of teasers you know i got these floating head teasers in here and they they're real good i got all these different skirts that i can tie on my own rigs and stuff in all see pinks whites pearls purple sea robin glow glow of course you got to have the glow you know so i got glow and green glow pink glow love the pink glows pink and white glows if it glows i love it if it glows then it goes in the water. That's where I put it. Catch some fish. And that's it. So that's all my fluking gear. Uh, not all of it. Oh, I neglected to to show you all the fluke balls. Oh, that's heavy. So I got a couple of boxes of these things. Right? And, uh, yep, so that's all for the deep water fishing. The heavy stuff comes out with me to Montauk and uh, Nantucket. When you need deep stuff, you got to have deep stuff. So I always uh, basically put a bag together. I take whatever I think I'm going to need that day and then I throw it in uh, one of my canvas bags one of these canvas bags over here two if I need two I often do and there's my fluorocarbon and my gulp gulp I got tied rigs I got tied rigs all over the place and ziploc bags and that's it that's how I do my my fluke gear. And I have got other various little boxes of bucktails and stuff all over the place. And, you know, I just put together little packages of stuff that I need for one particular day of fishing. And I base that upon where I'm fishing. You know, if I'm going to fish in the bay, like on the South Shore or something, or Jamaica Bay... I'm going to take lighter stuff from Mauritius, Shinnecock, whatever. In the bay, you need the lighter stuff. Go out in the ocean, you need the heavier stuff. You're going to fish some deep water spots around the Peconic. You might need some heavy stuff. You might need some light stuff. So you got to be prepared for every different situation. And always think about where you're going to be fishing um, any given day. And try not to take the whole kitchen sink with you. If you can avoid it and uh, you know I've got boxes of stuff for everything squid fishing gear all ready to go cod stuff cod jigs uh, herring I've got a box made up for pretty much everything trolling mojos other trolling gear striped bass soft plastics I've got a bunch of those different things this is my East End striper box, so I've got, you know, 
three-way rigging for bucktails and stuff in there and diamond jigs and a bunch of different things and uh, that's it so you tailor the tackle that you need to the trip that you're going on and try to consolidate and not bring everything with you obviously this is a lot of stuff this is more stuff than most normal people have i understand so i pick and choose i always like to be prepared like a boy scout and um you know i i don't want to be without stuff when i feel i need it but at the same time i don't want to bring too much stuff stuff that i probably won't use so you have to pick and choose and that's it um all right so this is ken saying we'll see you later